Um, I've been the president of Microsoft Canada for the last three years, and it's been an incredible ride. I was sharing with Brad, uh, in the time I've been here, we've opened uh, nine retail stores, including the one that's down here in this building. Uh, we just opened two big, huge data centers across the country to address um, the community's uh, desires for privacy, data security, and redundancy in the country. But today, honestly, is the, the culmination of my three-year uh, presidency here for Microsoft Canada. Uh, when you look at the innovation that's going on and the, just kind of the buzz and the energy that's happening here, you, you really believe that not only is this technology for Microsoft, but we're creating an innovative hub for, for this community, for Vancouver, that will impact the world. Because this is about Vancouver, it's about British Columbia, and it is about Canada, mm -hmm. and it is about our ability to develop great technology here, which we're now doing. It's about our ability to serve customers through Canadian data centers, which we're now doing. And it's our, about our ability to keep reaching and supporting more customers across Canada, which is what Janet and her team and all of our consultants and other experts do. So all of this is, is frankly uh, a recognition by Microsoft as a company of the innovative and vital uh, opportunities that exist here across Canada. This, this center is a very big source of Canadian pride, not only for our employees, but for this community here. And when I look around Canada, I mean, I, the university systems across the country, UBC, Waterloo, UT, Ryerson, I mean, they're bringing out some of the leading edge AI, big data, machine learning thinking. And what's exciting for us, particularly with the garage interns that we're doing here, is we have a great opportunity to get Canadian students and kids and get them working with some of the best minds in the industry. And sure, they might come and work for us. They might come and start and do startups. Um, they might uh, go work for another big technology company. But it's creating a very vibrant um, hub and facility that people want to come to. Vancouver and Seattle are only 143 miles apart. If we were talking about Amsterdam and, and Paris, you know, we would be talking about getting from downtown to downtown in only an hour. We're not that far apart. We can learn from each other, we can spread best practices, and we can do new things together. And if we can do that, look, nobody 10 or 20 years from now is gonna be talking about Vancouver as a branch of anything. They're gonna be talking about Vancouver as an important center in a global technology ecosystem. Mm -hmm.